Hey guys, Alfonso Gomez, your realtor. I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's the end towards the end of June 2018. It's still a strong market. It is still a, a seller's market, but the homes are taking a little bit longer to sell. Prices are starting to be reduced on a more frequent basis. And sellers are starting to get a little anxious. So homes that are not properly adjusting to the market are either going to stay on the market longer um, and or the homes are not going to sell. So what, you're, what I'm beginning to hear more and more are the sellers saying that they have these needs that they have to fulfill. Well, let me tell you something. The sellers set the price and the buyers set the value. So you can say my house, we're selling it for 300,000, but if the buyers out there are telling you, no, we wanna pay you 275, that's the value. So never replace your needs to justify the va the price of the home or the value of the home. So you can't say, well, I need $300,000 because I need to pay off some bills. Well, the buyers aren't gonna care about that. The buyers are gonna say, well, that's interesting, but the value of your home is 300 and 275. We don't care about your needs. We know the value. The value is this. That's what the market is paying. So if you are um, absolutely adamant that you have to sell at 300,000, you may sell. You may sell. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the chances are lower. Uh, listen to the market. Listen to the market. The, the sellers set the price. The buyer set the value. Never justify your price for needs. The buyers will tell you the value. Okay, anyway, if you want to know more about that, let me know. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, you know, uh, the market is adjusting. I, I still, I don't think it's uh, any time to panic or anything, but you know, we do need to listen to the market. All right, Alfonso Gomez, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, give me a call anytime. You know what, and I look forward to closing my next deal with you.